blah, blah. Welcome from the inside of my vanity today. I thought I would do a little bit of an unwind with me video. I kind of have a night that I set aside every week to just relax my mind and ease it after a long week of work or just more tense days. So I thought I would share it with you guys and you know just remind y'all to unwind. But I'm actually really excited because this video is in partnership with BioClarity. They're basically like a monthly subscription company that sends out products that you need for your skin. Plant-based and cruelty-free. I've been using their combination acne prone skincare routine but they also have things for normal to dry skin. I believe that's their essentials skincare routine. So you guys can check that out if you want to. I'll leave like the link to their stuff down below and you can use my discount code diana50 for 50 percent off your first bioclarity purchase i had a pretty bad pimple like right here a few days ago and i used one of their topical creams specifically to like help with breakouts and it just like smoothed it out really fast so i'm just gonna be trying out this oil specifically for taking off face makeup it is the constellations cleaning oil by lux estiva i believe this is like an australian company i don't want to use wipes since it's very wasteful now i'm looking a little crazy but i'm going to be using some more and more Water to go ahead and take away that mascara so far I don't know how to feel about this because it's kind of like got a sticky consistency and I don't like to feel like I have to kind of dig through my skin just to get the product off so now that we've got that nasty makeup off I am going to further clean my face with the step one cleanser by BioClarity this cleanser is packed with botanical ingredients like cucumber green tea and chamomile that leave the skin feeling fresh after you wash and I find that it really just takes off any dirt pollutants and oil right off my skin I do want to make sure and wash over the eyelash area just till I get all of the excess mascara off my eyes. Now my face is feeling fresh and completely clean of that oil residue I had before so I'm really digging this stuff. I feel like I'd be lying if I told you guys that I loved all their products equally but I think that this one happens to be my favorite. It is their step 2 complexion perfection acne treatment gel that has 2% salicylic acid and o kernel but this one has just enough so that it doesn't over dry your skin. I just pop some of this stuff on to the affected area and then right here at the pimple is. Now for step three, I'm going to be using the Restore, which is basically their moisturizer, except they have one secret magical ingredient called Floralux. And this stuff really helps your skin reduce redness and dark spots from within. So I just put a little pea size of this stuff on my finger, and then I tap my two index fingers, rotate it onto my skin, feels really nice. BioClarity gives you the option of choosing between two masks every month for your face. I'm going to be using this mask today, but they also have the Glow Getter Hydrating Mask. And that kind of just gives you like an instant facial in case you don't want to be purifying your pores or you don't really have that issue. I chose a pore purifier because it gives you a tightened complexion while also healing and clearing any imperfections. So typically I would obviously put all of my skincare stuff after the mask, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you guys all of the routine from washing your face to adding moisture into your face in one shot so it's not confusing. This stuff is also made with their secret magical ingredient as well as tea tree and aloe which just means that it takes away all of the grime and also adds back in the moisture so you don't have to worry about this mask over drying your skin after pulling from the pores. I love the earthy smell that this thing has. Now I'm left looking like the mask so I'm gonna put this stuff away, clean this brush off and start running my bath.
thought I would do a little bit of gardening. Is this considered gardening? We're gonna be repotting these plants because I never actually had a chance to before. Do this again a little bit later because I heard about these stones that you can just put at the bottom of pots like these that don't have holes at the bottom. So that way the water kind of has a place to go when you water your plants. For now, I guess I'm just gonna use these little containers that they already came in. This plant I got from Ikea. This one I got from a local florist. We got these two at Walmart, and that one all the way over there I also got at Ikea. Desperately need some repotting because <sighs> Clum accidentally had a drop. So we have to repot the entire thing since we don't have a backyard. I've just decided to take in some house plants and see if I'm successful with this. Maybe in the future I can actually have an, a real garden rather than just these indoor plants. But for now these will do. There's just something nice about getting your fingers in the dirt and just having them press against it to keep your plants nice and stable. It's very therapeutic to me. And watching them grow and just be happy and healthy is very gratifying to me. So I always find myself wanting to check up on my plants to make sure that they're doing okay. <laughs> that actually felt good. So Roger and I are gonna pop on a movie and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this very relaxing, quiet evening. I highly encourage you guys to just take the time to unwind and relax yourselves before the next day. I also wanted to extend a huge hug to BioClarity for sponsoring this video and for helping support this channel. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your evenings and I will see you on the next video. Good night.